subscribe if you haven't to this channel. Uh, right now I'm in Mexico. Um, I have no way to really make money while I'm here, but I got time and uh, I wanna explore Mexico. So that's why I'm here. I wanna show you guys something else real quick. I'm gonna be going to this school here in January and I get certified. I'm an inspector. I have generator training, solar training, um, pretty much everything that has to do with plumbing, electrical, uh, the exterior, the interior of the RV. Good morning, everybody. This is Noah McCrill. Look where I'm at. I mean, you can't tell, it's just mountains. I'm in a remote village in Mexico. I got my water boiling for coffee. Here's what we're drinking. Cafe de Oil. Of course, the coffee is different here. I mean, it's still instant coffee, but I mean, I don't see any red 40 in these ingredients. But uh, for the most part, all the food here is organic. It's farmed here locally. Man, it's just, that, I mean, I prefer that in the United States. You have to pay extra for organic food or non-GMO food, it's extra. And sometimes it's not even really organic or GMO free. Of course, this is like really low quality coffee if you're asking a coffee snob, but it's what I got. I wanna show you guys, look, look at this kitchen. So there's some propane, the propane tank. You got a tortilla press, you got all the pans, plates. This is a very traditional kitchen here in Oaxaca, Mexico. This is a nice kitchen. You know, there's electricity. Here's the sink. They do things different here. And this is a, I would say nice house. This is where the American money comes in and they start building, you know, nicer places. Humanity is comfortable in the ways that they were brought up. And it's, it's no, no big deal. They're happy with less. There's an America there. Strive for more, strive for more. So I just came from these stairs. Everything's made of concrete and brick. I mean, it's beautiful. Probably maybe only a few hundred people that live here. Check out these chonclas, by the way. And you know, there's something else that comes to mind uh, when I look at, you know, how they build here, how they live. It's more free. It's more free than America. There's no code saying this has to be built a certain way. There are earthquakes here, so they do know how to build. It's not like they just slap this thing together and people are dying every time there's an earthquake. There's no government involved in the way that they build these houses. If you want a house, you just build it. There's no permits that you have to pay for. And you know what? They build it the way they want to because it's their land, it's their property. So they build it the way they want. And that is freedom. In America, it's not like that. You have to go through code enforcement. You have HOAs. You got to go through city to get permits. It's, it's ridiculous, especially in states like California. But even in Texas, you're paying so much money in taxes. Here, I, I don't think there's that much taxes, uh, at least on the properties. Let me show you guys uh, the room I'm staying into. I'm packing up for today, but it's beautiful. That's it. So I've been in Mexico to explore the culture and enjoy the food, practice my Spanish. It's been awesome. If you're from America or another country where you got it good, highly recommend you come down and, and see people live the way they do um, in different places of the world. I much prefer this than uh, what I was doing in the military. Um, this to me makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna go and learn and live the way other people do and, and gain understanding instead of signing up for the military, joining my government in their efforts to support the politicians' interests and kill on their behalf, I think this is a much better idea. I've heard it from other people too. You know, Mexico is more free or you're leaving America to go to Mexico for more freedom. Uh, it's more free, like there's no doubt about it. There's less systems, it's, it's more hectic, not as organized. I mean, it's the price you pay. The, the Mexicans go through a lot of bullshit with their government too, and they don't even have a voice to, to speak out against the government. It will be bad if they do. So. No, they don't have freedom in that sense. They don't have freedom of speech like we do as Americans. And I had a long talk with one of the neighbors about that because uh, this passport is the only reason why I have more freedom here because my dollar goes 17 times further here in Mexico. So if I were to say that to a Mexican, like, oh, you have more freedom here. And it's, it's really just because I'm American and I'm here. If I was Mexican, I would have to go somewhere else where my peso, my Mexican peso will go further than does in Mexico, and that would be my strategy. This is kind of a random thought, but these doors remind me of the military a little bit because they're like the hatches in the Navy. So it kind of makes me laugh. Oh, let's go check out the village. If you're wondering what village this is, it's Teocoquilico de Marcos Perez in Oaxaca, Mexico. 
So you're hearing school right now. The Primaria Escuela, where they, the niños. It makes me laugh when I look at all the electrical. Like, I'm no electrician, but when something looks sketchy, I know it does. They don't sell these in the States. I went here yesterday and bought some mezcal. Okay. So I just need to fork off the main road. Here's a main tienda right here. You see all the Fiesta flags? This is the main little store that they have. And they'll actually make their mice fresh. They'll boil the corn, come here, dump it in this machine. It spins with a belt and a motor. It makes fresh um, maseca. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is, the name. I can't remember the words in Spanish, let alone the names of the food. It's kind of a mix of old houses and adobe, new houses. Okay, here we are, ready for breakfast. Zanahoria. Zanahoria de carrot. Zanahoria. Uh -huh. Zanahoria. Cilantro. Perejil. 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 Wow. Bonita vista aquí. Mañana con Lupita. Mañana, sí. Va a ser triste, Lupita. Lupita, Lupita. Vegetarianos. Tacos ve vegetarianos. Vegetarianos. Italianos. Vegetarianos. Ah, ok. Zanahoria, quesillo. Y quesillo, cebolla. No sé, es difícil, recuerdo de. Zanahoria. Zanahoria, es mm. difícil. Y fresca tortillas. Fried them in the oil. It's kind of like real tacos. This cheese is amazing though, the Oaxaca cheese.